We're here at Heinz Field for this NFC West versus AFC North matchup between the Seahawks and the Steelers. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high-scoring game. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. The receiving team has the recovery. <laughs> Offense lines up here. First and ten, Bell's going to get it from the eye. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Bell's lined up as the single back. It's a second and 13. Play action. He'll fire it out to the left. He's wide open for the grab. It didn't take long, but they're already in scoring territory inside the red zone. Yeah, they're making it look easy, aren't they, so far? But you've got to be alert on the defensive side right now because this offense loves to go for the touchdown once they get into the red zone. Roethlisberger is going to throw once again on this down. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. So they complete one, and still it's second down. Looking to the right side and throwing. That's an interception. They'll take it at the 20. You've got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. Miller's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Screen reaches out and grabs it. Gain of 16. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. There's Pete Carroll on the sideline for the Seahawks, and a year ago he got things going up there in Seattle, didn't he? He does. You know, he does it a different way, doesn't he? It's always about enthusiasm. And Pete Carroll has a great saying. Uh, if you're not excited about today's practice, then fake it. I want fake enthusiasm. And you laugh about that, and you go, wow, that's so college high school stuff. But what it does is it teaches you to come out and have enthusiasm for your job day in and day out. And that's what you saw when you watched the Seattle Seahawks play. He had to make a tough decision at the beginning of last year. Deciding to go with the rookie quarterback out of the third round, Russell Wilson, instead of the big free agent signee and Matt Flynn. Oh, yeah. I was one of those guys second guessing Pete Carroll last year. That's something we all do pretty well. But the Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Lining up now for the two. They're setting up screen. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Bells in the backfield. Single back set. First and 10. 
and he's going to be brought down. Pressuring the quarterback, that's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, the blitz, it was quick, it was fast, and they get a sack on the quarterback. Kotchery is going to get set in the slot for the snap. This is a screenplay all the way. And that's a gain of 10. Well, they say arm strength is overrated in the NFL. I don't know who those people are. They don't know what they're talking about. It's a big part of playing quarterback. Look at that. He fires it in there in between the defenders for the completion. After that last reception, they are still eight yards away from a first. Third and eight coming up. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Browns lined up in the slot. The Steelers now move the chains. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? First down following the long play. Eyeing that left side. That catch, good for a first down. The slant route, it's a timing route where the wide receiver plants his outside foot at five to six yards and catches the football eight yards down the field as he's going across the middle. That reception gave them the first down. Bell's going to secure the handoff. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Play number six coming up on this drive. Throws to the right. Makes the grab. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Incomplete. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. All set up now at the 21. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. Second down and 10. Quarterback tosses it to the outside. Touchdown and drawing close. When you talk about a running back like this, he doesn't possess the great speed. So for him to score in a long touchdown run, that means the defense broke contain. They weren't disciplined. But the biggest detriment of all is they did not hustle. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. He'll start his return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. From the gun, Russell Wilson ready for the snap. Out of the shotgun, challenging the defenders to the right side. They've got him down there. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch and gets the first down. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Working that left side. And it's out of bounds incomplete. And Rice is lined up now as a slot receiver. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. 
This is a route that's not running up in the NFL, the corner route. So many times, receivers just go across the field, they go short. But when you make these double moves like that, you get wide open. And what a throw by the quarterback. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. And Rice is a receiver in the slot. Wilson standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Trying to work that left side. They got to be able to do everything. They got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run. And up. So athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. It's first down as they head to the line. Play action fake. Looking to throw. I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by this, but when you take those blindside hits, they don't hurt as much as you think because you had no idea it was coming. Your body's loose, and you can absorb the hit. Of course, he's taken the Steelers to two Super Bowls. The first time he went, he was the youngest coach ever to take a team to the Super Bowl and became the youngest to ever win the big game. Yeah, well, you understand, and, and, and I understand, too, why the Pittsburgh Steelers hired him. They met him. They knew he knew a lot about football, but they knew he could get it done in the emotional sense with the players. You blend those together, and you put talent on the field, which the Steelers have, you get great. Bells out in the slot. Third and 16. And he's almost intercepted. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Defense now is going to go nickel. Taking it right up the middle. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Miller's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Second and six. Screen play is on. Gains 13. Jim, this time it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards. Miller's playing out of position in the backfield here. Makes the catch. Got a big lane. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards. Gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Into the open flat. And he hauls it in. In zone bound. And he's got the touchdown. The Seahawks lined up now for the point after. And the point after is good. 
the Steelers set to return the kick. The tackles made right around the 25 yard line. Miller's move from the tight end position to the slot. First and 10, play fake here. Throwing now to his left. Interception. He stacked up at that point. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Miller's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Setting up screen, complete. And it's Ryan Clark who comes up to make the stop. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. Miller's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Setting up a little screen. They pounce on him there. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. It's now second down. Set up screen. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that's the new NFL. Just keep going behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple yards. Baldwin's in the slot. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. In trouble now. Has some space to work with. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. The Seahawks come to the line with an empty backfield. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. Looking to scramble. Runs out of bounds. What was the defense?